I'm injured, but I won't be for long and I have goals to get after. Can I structure things so that I limit the potential for future me getting injured again? In his book, Atomic Habits, James Clear talks about systems approaches to habit formation versus just goal setting. He writes, you do not rise to the level of your goals, you fall to the level of your systems. My goal was is to run a marathon. I wrote a plan, a system, and followed the plan. Circumstances changed, however, and what I did not have was an adequate system for adapting. Training and injury follow a curve. Generally speaking, the harder and more intense your training is, the greater the chances are that something will give out. Coming off the IR list, I have already rewritten what's left of my marathon program to limit the number of program variables, frequency, intensity, time, and type, to just one primary one, frequency, and a secondary one, time. The intensity levels will stay low and slow, and the type of running I'll be doing is just road work. By sticking to a four rather than five day frequency and not combining increased time of run sessions with higher speeds or inclines, I should stay lower on that graph. But at some point in the future, I will train for another marathon and I need to have a plan in place to help illuminate things which could become problems. There is a section of my training plan that allows me to write in comments about it. What I didn't have is a system to track that soreness and plug that into my pre and post session recovery work. I would just try to work it in. Clear writes about a key to habit creation is making it easy. I already log all of my workouts and runs on spreadsheets on my computer, but that's just number plugging. And often I just use my phone to access it. I could open a Google Doc and type out a journal entry, but I don't always have my laptop out or available in the moments following in a session. But I have used a paper logbook before. So I'll give that a shot. I always have room in my bag for a small book and a pencil. Easy access, step one. Step two, designing a simple logging tracker for my physical recovery work. Now let's take a crack at designing something. So what I've done here is just set up a simple bullet journal style. So that's the little dots are. Uh, and then I'm just creating a little, just a basic grid layout. I don't really care what the text is here. Uh, this is all in a small little bullet journal, actual physical journal. So this is just kind of what my setup was because it's kind of small. So basically I set it up as uh, activity, whatever activity I have on the, on the left. And then uh, a two week block, I had enough room to make a two week block uh, across the right hand side. The different activities, so basically it's just pre-run uh, pre warm-up, so my pre-run stuff. Uh, did I actually go for a run session? And then a post-run, uh, so like the recovery stuff afterwards, which is what I'm kind of trying to focus on. And then uh, whether if it wasn't a, a run, then uh, did I go for a walk or did I do hiking or something like that? So I'm just tracking whether or not I did that, what days I did it, um, and then did I follow my, my pre and post warm-up sessions? So did I do what I was supposed to do? So because I'm doing mostly running and hiking, I decided to break it up into, into just lower body areas. So I did first a group of just the like bones and joints. So feet, ankles, hips, pelvis, low back, and just kind of how those joints felt, like were they painful or anything after a run or a hike or something. And then the actual muscular stuff. So did, were my quads really sore? Did I have uh, shin splints? So when I marked these off, was my sports hernia bothering me? Was an ankle bothering me? Were my quads really sore? And then does that need to get placed into my work, my recovery work? Is it or is it not? Does it need some special emphasis because it's in my recovery work, but it's still really bothering me? And so keeping a track of all that stuff is kind of the goal. That way, over time, I may not be able to have this super formal setup, but I can then more easily just sort of pare things down and identify after each run how things are going. And so that's my setup. Areas that are bothering me get placed into the queue for the next iteration of the recovery work if they aren't already in there. The longer something stays on the list, the more attention I'll give it and the more likely I'll add in an extra rest day, neither of which I was good about doing before. Here's what that looks like in real life after a couple days use in the actual book. Like most things implemented for the first time, I may revise this process a little bit or a lot, who knows, but 
I will give it a go and hope that this system helps lift me towards my goal. Thanks so much for watching my video. Keep training hard and I'll see you in the next video.